This is a brief. Was your finger just in the, in the lens? I think it was. This is an abbreviated version of the Pit Boss Podcast brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Place Sporting Goods. M Y M. That's my pinky. M Y M O L L Y S dot com. Molly's Place Sporting Goods. Check them out. Up next, love. I'm going to say Duck Water Boat. Steve Hooper, New Philadelphia, Ohio. Thank you very much, Steve. We appreciate your support. Duck Water Boats.com. Who's up next, love? Crabs to go. Crabs to go. Easily found on the corner of Route 589 and Route 50, where Route 50 and 589 probably is more the better way to say it. In Berlin, it's crabs to go.com. Check them out. They can't ship anymore. Have not shipped because of COVID or after COVID. They do not ship anymore. But you can check them out. Check their menu out on crabstogo.com online is what I was about to say. Uh, and if you're halfway in the area, you got to make sure you stop. I, I Truthfully, I've been waiting. I've not been waiting. I've been w- really wanting the breakfast of champions. Mm, I, yeah. I keep seeing freaking oysters on Instagram. Anyway, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Up next, love. I'm going to say it's Duck Blind Bistro, the ultimate outdoor oven. DuckBlindBistro.com. Check them out. Next up, love. Gunner. Gunner.com. Gunner Kennel. We have a package. Did a little texting this morning. We've got some stuff that we can use for the upcoming hunt test season in the T350. Gunner.com. Up next, love. Um, <laughs> Dirty Duck Coffee. Dirty Duck Coffee.com. They do have, if you like dark coffee, it is Pit Boss's Duck Boat Dark. And we say it all the time. The next coffee we like best? French roast. Okay. I was going to say French French roast, yes. We do and like that. And the snickerdoodle. And the snickerdoodle. So check them out. Uh, K-Cups. I'm not sure all the different mm. brands they have K-Cups, but check them out at DirtyDuckCoffee.com. Up next, love. Turtle Box. Turtle Box. Right yeah, I was going to say, you, it was to my left, and now it's to my right. Boom. Yeah. I do need to maybe charge that bad boy up. It is loud. First off, it's waterproof, dustproof, all that kind of stuff. But it is loud. I have everything fired up in here. It is the ultimate Bluetooth speaker. I don't know that they say that, hmm. but the, I'm saying it. <laughs> Turtlebox.com. Up next, love. Pit Boss Waterfowl. No, it's Whaleyville Wagon Tails. <laughs> Whaleyville Wagon Tails. You're busy. Starting to get busy. Yes. Right? Yeah, we have a camper coming in this weekend. There. We, what do we do? Camper coming in this weekend. Um, first time camper, so we'll see how that goes with the pups and all. But uh, we've met the pup, and uh, he seems nice. He's a beagley hound mix, I think. And up, lastly but not least, hey, Boss. well, time out, time out, time out. Mm-hmm. Are there any puppies available? We do have some males available. Okay, I just wanted to throw that in there. And they're all stinking cute. So. They really are. If somebody wants to check them out, it's easily oh, gosh. easily found. Too many videos, too many posts yep. on Instagram, Instagram and, and Facebook. Yeah, so yeah. check. Yeah, you know, pit boss waterfowl. Speaking of pit boss waterfowl, got about ten days left for the twenty four twenty five season, and we are booking now for the twenty five, the twenty twenty five twenty six season. So Sunday hunting just passed in Delaware. Not gonna pass in Maryland. I don't think. I think. Um, Cyrus is saying probably it's going to happen in Pennsylvania hmm. next year. And I guess Maryland will have to follow suit somewhere along the way. So. Okay. All right. Let's dive into it. Come on. Oh, are we rolling? Yeah. What are we doing? What are you doing? Um, Just trying to get these teal heads done. Feels like yesterday was, I to quote you, I think you said yesterday was a total waste. Somewhere along the way. It was a bust. Yeah. Bust. Excuse me, a bust. But yeah, just trying to get these things done. Today's kind of went that way too. Mm. We did get the signs done. We did. So if anybody is cruising in our zip code, 21872 Whaleyville, Maryland, and happens to go past Pit Boss World Headquarters, they are going to, if they didn't know it's Pit Boss World Headquarters, they're going to know it's Pit Boss World Headquarters because there are two eight foot wide <laughs> scoter heads on each end of the building. So, so these these heads looked like this just a couple of days ago, right? Yeah, yeah. And then they kind of went to this, yeah. which I still I just need to really wrap my head around how I really want to do the body since I've already got the pattern cut like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a couple of those to do. And yeah, yesterday or the other day, you kind of went through and 
and kind of worked them up. And back in the day, I would um, use a knife, which I have right here. That is an old straight blade razor that I attempted to, to um, turn it into a to a, yeah an upper bay um, style carving knife. And Bill Collins, Captain Bill Collins, that was at Pat's Pat and Jeannie Vincenti. I'm going to say Pat like everybody knows who I'm talking about. Pat and Jeannie Vincenti's shop back in the day was there uh, weekly. Um, but the, oh, there you are. Now resides in Centerville, Maryland. Um, helped me finish that knife off. And I don't really have a good example to show how I'm looking. Um, actually, uh, maybe right behind you. Right behind you. Maybe the, uh, can, can you, how about the head? Should be easy, Greg. But that, that, if you can see that bill mm -hmm. was actually cut in with the knife. So that was the older style, the way I would do things. And I guess even when, even, so I'm going to talk like everybody knows what I'm talking about. But even when I made it all the way over to Camden, Delaware back in the day from Harford County, the Havity Grace area to <clears throat> learn from one of the masters out there of making gun and decoys, George Williams. Um, George did everything with a burner. And actually, I think I can get this one. Well, this is a older, was it an 89? Uh, I don't know. What would you say that is? 85? <laughs> Possibly that's George for you. Okay. But that's all that's all done with a burner. Okay. And he even did, which I never got into, but when he put his eyes in and put the putty on, he actually took the burner and went around the eyes. Mm. And I still have his style burner way somewhere. His style burner way back in the day. I don't know, it's probably in one of these bins down there. But uh, anyway, this a little bit more of a modern version. It's just simple and easy, easy and simple. Once I get the heads that are halfway um, shaped up in the way I want them, I actually do the bills so that then when I sand, um, I'm going to sand to those lines. It's it's rare that you can't see the line after they're all sanded up nice and neat. And if they are, I just fire the burner back up and just and just run through them. So, what do you, you got? Any thoughts, comments, questions? No, it smells good. <laughs> it does. Northern white cedar. So, we did get a cork delivery today. Yay. So, that's good. Um, 16 sheets. And the plan is... Well, it, G off. If, well, maybe I need... To, I shouldn't say. The sheet's going to Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's legal. He can take so many dollars... The, the heater turned off. He can take so many dollars back with him. But anyway, G off, if you're listening, his four-inch thick piece is there sheet I should say and uh, Fred West of West Farms just north of us in Frankfort Delaware um, he has I don't know how many sheets he has I'm sure you'll know and then the rest is ours so are we good on HVAC are they going to text you call you or the dogs gonna, are up he's going to text okay, good, you good, good, good. we are way back in here probably not going to hear um all the doggies are outside Okay, well, we, I, we, I think I would hear that. Um, ouch. Ooh, almost got me. Jeez, see, love, see, I just see the burn? Silly. <laughs> ouch. Oh, speaking of outside, well, I think I smell it now. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. It smells like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about bacon, but that wasn't very nice. Well, that's what they say. That's well, what they used smell. to do no, back in, I don't know, World War something. It smells like freaking burnt skin. That's how they would do graphs. Right. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know, love. Yeah. Um, but anyway, speaking of outdoors, I am very happy to report to everyone that we actually stopped Scoter going away from me back to the pile. Yeah, well. she did really good. Yeah, she's get her get her up to speed. We've learned with Scoter that she responds very well to voice encouragement. Mm. <laughs> you can't be nice to her. I am nice to her. 
<laughs> you can tell that she's a good girl. I do, yeah. I have to. I can get her all excited. Oh, we'll get more bumpers. There's more bumpers down. Are you ready? <laughs> um, I don't think I could do that in a hunt test, though. No, but Just, she's learning. Okay, well, she's learning. I'm very happy with how she's learned. And while we were doing that, Chris Wilhelm from Pole Building Outfitters Crew. Um, actually, I, I spied it pretty quickly. You did. Uh, they had two scissor lifts on the trailer. And they helped us out greatly. And put those eight-foot scoter signs that I talked about as we started this on each end of the building. So, I'm getting something done. I don't think I can smell skin anymore. I don't know. Um, 2.30ish, what else, what else should I try to do in here today? Uh, you have a whole pallet of cork out there. Yeah, but isn't that like counterproductive of me just cut more cork up? Because look, yes, there's... you have all of these to... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's stuff... I mean, yes, I could fill the shelf up. No, I was just joking. Oh, uh, all right. I was just I, joking. I, and actually, I, I mean, I, if I'm, I don't I don't think I have enough bodies for all these heads. So if, if I was... I know it's kind of my... One of my intentions. So what is it? There's six there. Uh, two, uh, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12, there's 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 27 in my hand. Probably a 28 around. Scoter keeps coming in here and stealing one. 20, <laughs> there's at least 27. How many bodies do I have? Two, three, six, nine, 12. You could show everyone. 14. 14, so I need 14, more. 14, yeah. Right. Is that one down there? Um, yes, that'd be a to you. <laughs> Uh, see the goofy like the that, that may that may be one mm -hmm. that may be one there um, yeah so, so the cork is for these body for these heads I'm sorry those right there or the, the stuff we bought the ones that are cut out already yes yes yeah those, but yes. And, and the cork that you bought is to to put yeah I need to get all these I need done. more bodies okay there may be some under the bench under that bench there's like it was oh, yeah. maybe two or three wily quirk bodies. Okay. Something like that. Right. So I so I got that going on so I can get that going on. So um thoughts, comments, questions? No, it's just nice to see you Being utilizing busy. this nice Yeah, thank you. Room. Yeah. The heat kind of takes the chill off a little bit. I'm still in flip flops. Um the carving videos on social media are getting a lot of good should i say run attention i don't know if somebody has a question comment um had a bunch about the fordham tool um had a lot about the fordham tool recently i guess because i've been using the fordham tool mm -hmm. but please um especially on youtube put a comment or question down below in what would you call it in the comment section i guess right mm -hmm. i don't know uh, that's all I got. Okay. You good? I'm good. We get a HVAC estimate. That'll yep. be nice to see where we're see where we're at with that. I still got yep. still got to dig around with that other loan. What are we doing there? <laughs> I said we just keep buying lottery tickets. Mm, well, I did <laughs> yesterday. The ride dog just fed the pups again. Yeah, how are the pups doing? Good. Yeah, good. Oh, little... Four weeks old yesterday? Little red girl was crying a whole bunch, so I had to hold her for a oh, little there bit. You go. But, uh... That yeah. is the mash dog? Uh... <laughs> I kept saying I wanted to wait until they got older to make the decision. Yeah, but well, so. that's fine, we can. Um... They're growing very well. They are. But... Yeah, I don't know. Like, she w she wanted to go in. So when, when does she... Stop! Like, when does she not want to? Oh, you mean when you say them? she love everybody can't read your right, mind, right, dog? I'm Mama still dog. Think, I'm just thinking about Mash. Like, I'm sorry, Mama like dog. Mash wants Mama, to get back in. Mama dog wanted to go in to check on them and and willingly lay down with them to mm. feed them. 
So do I stop? I think we got to stop. Stop her or... Because, yeah. I, I don't know, they're still babies. Okay, well, <laughs> they sure seem to be eating food <laughs> fine. They are. They're gaining nicely. Everybody, well, maybe Pinky's not, but everybody's over five pounds. Pinky's working he's pushing, on it. He's pushing it. He um, I keep saying, oh. Um. So we're going to do another podcast here soon? We do. And when are we going to get someone on our podcast? Who would you like to get? Um, Kind of what well, I think everyone's kind of switched, obviously, from from hunting going into to decoy carving and dog training. Mm. So I think we should get a dog trainer on. Mm. You're a dog trainer. Huh? You're a dog trainer. Mm. Actually, I am happy how she's progressed. I'm a little worried there for a bit, but... Well, sometimes that's what happens. She's things still don't, great. You know, things don't always go exactly how we think. And hit little obstacles. Well, that'll always happen, right? Yeah. Well, the only thing I could say with her, honestly, she's on the big timeline. Just because I'm going to blame duck season, but just because of duck season, she is a little bit behind. Mm-hmm. Other, maybe other litter mates, I don't know. But Have she, you seen any of the litter mates? Any references to the litter? Nah, I think Mike, Mike's, Mike, I think Mike kept one, I think, in his oh, yeah? training. Hmm. But to actually see him, no. No, so. Uh, with my doctor's visit yesterday, I do have to say, and I started to actually, um, while I was waiting for you, I actually started to Google it just to see how much I can take. And mm-hmm. But Celebrex really seems to be helping me out. Yeah, I'm pleased. I'm very, I'm very... Did you schedule your appointment at the pain clinic yet? I did not. Jeffrey! Gosh. Well, I don't have the CD either. It's in freaking Seaford. I, I should have asked for one that day, and I just... Because she told me I can get them online. Well, I can see them online, but I can't download them. So, mm-hmm. anyway, Celebrex... All right, call them. ...is my friend. Get the, very them good friend to is my very, very good friend at the moment. Hopefully it continues to work for a while. Right. They, most of those NSAIDs work for a bit and then they kind of taper off. Yes. All right. I think that's about it. I appreciate you taking the time, Karen, to step in here. Thank you very much. feels pretty good temperature-wise in here. It's cold out there. Um, evidently, there is a couple things coming from Gunner Kennels. I'm excited about that. We yeah. Can throw them into our repertoire of things. I am done with the burner, right? I think so. Their heater is fired up. What? Is this the way you're supposed to do this? Uh, I think not. And then, just so I can be safe and mm-hmm. sound through that whole concrete. Mm-hmm. I used to always worry about it in the decoy trailer. Like, mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I used to kind of hang it so it just hung out all by mm-hmm. itself. So. You know what I really liked what you got? In, the, in the trailer? When it was cold out? And what you used to do with that freaking heat blower thing? Yeah. And you could see flames coming out of it. Well, you had it, it shooting into the truck. Well, the dust. It was just the dust was burning. It wasn't dangerous. Really? Uh, there is a Harlequin head out there somewhere. A scoter took it this morning. Oh. It was, okay. I think it's out the door. Maybe I... Oh, my gosh. I think I said it out there somewhere. Um, all right. That's all I got. Okay. I appreciate you following along. All of you on YouTube. And those who are listening anywhere else to the audio. So... As always, think of you, we are. Boom. Well, here, wait a second. This will be more appropriate. Thank you, sponsors.